In the previous lesson, we created the card based on calculated quick measure. Today, I am going to discuss abilities like that in detail. Let's copy all cards on the new page. You can select them by Ctrl and use Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V or keys on the Home tab to copy and paste. Conversation rate was calculated by quick measure. Let's consider how usual measure can be created. Click on New Measure on the Home tab. It's similar to Excel. Type Conversation here. It's equal to sum. Type it and operator of sum will be assessed. Available for calculating columns has appeared. We divided payments by leads. So double click on payments from the table. Close the brackets. Find the slash key. It's a division sign. We divide by the sum of leads and close the bracket. Power BI warns us that we have already had the conversation column in the fields. That's why we have to rename it. Type conversation2, for example. If you are good at writing code and working with command line, you will cope the usual measures easily. However, if you are complicated by typing brackets and commas in the right way, you'd better use a quick measure. Let's compare field calculated by both ways. Select Conversation 2. Click on the card and change its format to percentage. To be accurate, I add decimal places to the first card. Open Data Labels in Format. Select Display Units as None and set decimal places as zero. Both cards show 16.40. As you see, it's equal. What more measures can we calculate? Let's open the dashboard. These cards with sales show deviation equal to 10.7% from the target values. However, in the table, the total ratio between actual and target sales is equal to 90%. Actually, they should be the same and deviation on the card should be shown as 10%. Let's calculate this deviation using measures in Power BI. Open Quick Measures, there are five types of operations. For example, aggregating per category or time intelligence usually used for usual managers report. We will use this block with simple math operations. Select percentage difference, base value is target sales. Base value is target sales. And value to compare is actual sales. The new column has appeared in the fields. Power BI automatically call it as sales actual percent difference from target sales. Let's rename it as Sales Deviation.
Select it and check on the card. The value equal to minus 10.65 has been calculated as a previous card. Copy and paste the table in order to compare calculated values. Delete all columns except sales actual and its T slash A. Also add target sales here. What can we see? Pay attention to the video archive. The card and the calculated measure show the slippage to the plan, whereas the ratio between target and actual sales is 102% in the table. As you remember, the column was calculated in Excel and we aggregated it at an average in the table. Let's open it in Excel in private tables. I add the pivot table and mark product, touch it sales, sales actual, and this column with the ratio. Detail them, adding the date to the rows. Now we can compare the video archive's values. To do it, change the type of summarizing to average and set number format as percentage. Close all courses except video archive. Pay attention that the calculated average is equal to the arithmetic mean of three values. This is an inaccurate way. The correct value can be calculated also in Excel in calculated fields. We will do it using measures of Power BI. I deliberately didn't mention this analytical nuance in order to simplify the start of working for new users. During this model, we started learning some advanced tips. Create a new measure, call it T slash A sales correct. It's calculated as sum of sales actual divided by sum of target sales. Change the column's format to the percentage.
and check it by adding in the table and in another card. New values look right. We discuss the main reason why the real cases we make all calculations in Power BI and use only the raw data. Let's think what another rate can we calculate. There are sales actual and amount of payments. The average bill can be a useful measure. Let's create a new measure. The average bill is equal to sum of sales actual divided by sum of payments. Add it to the table to check. It was calculated in dollars, so we don't have to change format settings. In this lesson, we started to discuss working with measures and quick measures. Also, we've seen how important working with raw data and doing calculation by your own. Also, one of the most important analysis aims is finding informative and illustrative measures. Such a rate as an average bill help estimate the product's profitability and relevance. As for you, try to repeat calculation for the ratio between promotional budget and actual expenses. Calculate it as deviation shown on the card and add correct values to the table. Good luck and see you next lesson.